morning. Just left uh, beautiful Anchorage after a lovely stay over there. Running downwind in a force four. Just got to make course correction. I'm going inside this channel marker. Just be very careful. The one, the one meter mark is uh, 20 yards to my right. That course should do. Running under twin head sails. Uh, it's given me five and a half, six knots. It's all going pretty well. It's going to get chaotic when I turn this corner. So I'll have to be on my toes. Lots of jumping around to do. Big old barge behind me. And a big monohull sailing down. Who's not going to catch him? I'm headed for the Osterskelda and then St. Philip's Land tonight. I came down that um, two to three mile stretch uh, pretty well. Stayed well ahead of the bigger monohull with my twin head sails. But I had to drop the uh, little uh, Genoa because of the twists and bends in the lake. Everything went pretty well. A lot of action, especially single handed. Now the um, monohull is just ahead of me and a little aluminium boat uh, has come out from Wolfhard's Dyke. Um, he's about the same size as me. Let's see how we go, but he has got his engine on. I think I might be tempted to cut the corner here, go across the shallows. That will piss the monohull off. Let's see. Well, I'm back in the Vera Lock on my way out uh, into the Osterskelda and then on to St. Philip's Land. It was pretty windy coming in, but I uh, managed to tie up against Nut. Great guys, nice strong crew. Uh, so I'm tied up to him and he's keeping me against the wall. Soon we'll be off, so I better get my stuff ready. And it's going to be a windy sail up the Osterskelda. Okay, leaving the Vero lock, no problems. Uh, it was uh, really nice rafting up to somebody because they have to do the work of looking after the lines. And I managed to get myself a drink of water and a biscuit. So, onward and upward. Life jacket on for the uh, next phase. Oh, I better slow down, I'm catching this motorboat. Right, now, two miles slog down this little narrow channel. I'm going to take it really easy. Just stick up the jib again and relax before I hit the uh, Osterskelder proper. That lock is very busy. Lots of boats in and out. But I'm very pleased uh, to have gone in there and got back out again today without any uh, whoopsies, no embarrassment. It was all pretty professional.
So I'm pleased. Now I can relax until I drop my anchor, uh, maybe three or four hours time. And here's Knut again. I'll just let them go past. Nice guys. Bye-bye, Vera Lake. Might be back in two weeks time. Now I'm out in the relatively open waters of the Osterskelde. Uh, in English, that's the East Schelde River. Um, I'm still only running under the jib. Uh, beam reaching actually, but I'm making uh, almost six knots, I think six and a half knots over the ground. Got the tide with me, and I'm really gonna get where I want to be uh, too early. <laughs> so, uh, no heroics, yeah, it's a little bit bouncy, so I'm just gonna s stay with the jib. I got the main out, but um, I'm going to leave it in its bag. And I'm heading up towards the Zealand Zealand Brook, the Zealand Bridge. Uh, half a mile before I reach that, I turn back downwind and head for another channel which gets me up to a place called St Phillips Land. It's turning out to be a very nice sail. I was a little bit apprehensive coming out in a force 4, force 5 by myself but so far no problem whatsoever. I got a company but um, I'm not going to bother with the main. Let him go past me. Absolutely delightful day. Easy sailing. You're steering because I'm not. <laughs> Bit of a sour face. Right. There's a whole bloody fleet of them coming down, so I'd better get back to my helming position and uh, keep an eye on these guys.
aquaholic on him of that boat. <laughs> yeah, I've met a few of those. Those fishing boats, uh, if you can see them, are uh, on the mussel beds, harvesting the mussels. It's a huge area there. Uh, dries at low tide, but very easy to spot. In the distance there is the Zeeland Bridge, Zeeland Brug. Came down through there two weeks ago, I think it was about two weeks ago, uh, going in the opposite direction. Very impressive structure. Okay, I think I'll be jiving in a minute. And then back to five miles to run before I have to start thinking about um, finding my anchorage it's been a very fast passage and I have to say extremely pleasant even just under jib this is one of my innovations for this season I've got uh, my instruments on a swing out arm so I can read them in the cockpit. Very handy. It's one of the best things I've done this season. Well, I've just jived the uh, jib. I've made my turn east. Uh, speed has dropped to 3.5 knots from 6.5 knots. That's because I now have an adverse tide. So. There's a lot of water sluicing out of the shelled river and it's all going that way. But uh, I've made fantastic time so far and uh, really not in any hurry so I'll still go with this sail plan. In actual fact I'm pretty tired. Uh, got up early, got out of the anchorage no problem. Had that downwind sail with the uh, twin head sails. That was great, uh, but a little bit tiring. Just got everything tidied away before the lock, and the lock was open. And I was the last one in, so I had a dash for the lock without any rest. End of the lock, which was pretty windy, uh, but I had no problems in there. Uh, out of the lock, <laughs> up the Oster Osterskelder now, it's down the Osterskelder and I'm, uh, I think I've probably had 10 minutes rest in the last uh, three hours or so, but it's a fantastic day, I'm going to keep plugging on and I think I'll be dropping my anchor in about an hour which is a lot faster than uh, I thought I would do it. Meanwhile, just enjoying the ride. I'm feeling my way into St. Philip's Land down this uh, very narrow little channel. It's absolutely beautiful here. Nobody comes here because it's uh, pretty remote and the water is very shallow at low tide. But it's just gorgeous. And with the cat, I can get in and out. Most people stay two or three miles uh, back there in St. Annaland. But I don't like it in there. So I'm. Um, following the markers all the way into St. Philip's Land and I'm going to anchor there and see how it looks for the night. Safely at anchor in St. Philip's Land, making the evening meal, Heinz baked beans, 
some leftover corned beef went in there, some leftover tuna fish, and that most evil of sausages, a chorizo. It's going to be some powerful brew, this one. Ooh. Yeah. 